I saw this randomly on I think like co-host or something. We're playing an idol game based on Twin Peaks. You heard me correctly. This is called Asbury Pines. And I just want to see what there is to see. I shouldn't say based on, inspired by, inspired by, pardon me. Um, yeah, apparently there's mergers going on and we're going like era by era. And I recognize that y'all um, probably won't be able to see like all the words because, you know, there's so many words going on on screen. So I will just read when I can. What's era resources? Food, XP, wood, oil, money, two peaks. Two peaks. Vlad's vlogs. My username is finally relevant to this season. Oh, hell yeah. The timelines of animals, plants, stories. What is Worm 83? The eras we have are the present Y2K and Worm 83. We've got community events, scavenging zones, work. Nature locations, artifacts, science, government, religion. Okay, so that's not in the demo. Got the main quest, resource flow, perks, people. We just have Sheriff Buzz Snow. Action, live life. 83 worms. En esta economía? Imagine. All right, I guess we'll have Sheriff. Oh, let's look at him. Can we? Rodney Buzz Snow, Sheriff of Asbury Pines, age 54. Level 1 at life, level 2 at working, level 4 at nature, level 2 at scavenging, level 2 at science, level 10 at artifacts, level 9 at governing, and level 3 at religion. Alright, so I guess... There you go. Live your life, Sheriff. I like to think 83 Worms is like Tetris 99. It's just like Slitherio, but a full release game. Oh god, okay, self-serve gas station has been unlocked. New Sheriff Buzz, Buzz Snow story has been unlocked. Should I pause him living life while I'm doing stuff? I think I probably should. I don't know if time passes otherwise. Okay, so here we go. The present day is 2030. Sheriff Snow questions his role in Asbury Pines. Date August 28th, 30, 2030. Snakes in hell, when did it get this bad? Can't even grab a coffee from Asbury Gas without folks snickering or punks recording me behind my back. Like I'm some buffoon about to walk on a banana peel. Headlines tore me to shreds after my shooting accident, and that dumb internet video made me do a joke. A meme or whatever. <laughs> no, he didn't say meme. A meme or whatever. No one expects me to fill my father's shoes anymore. Yep, Aldous Snow, legendary lawman, hotshot gunslinger, bringing justice to the worst of them. I look around. Not a lick of respect for me or my sheriff's badge. Maybe that's the world telling me to turn it in. Ah, and then I now have a gas station? Oh, I haven't built it yet. I need $100 and 30 wood. Sheriff Snow's coffee mug, final yield $100. Now what do you mean? Oh, if he looks at it. A shooting accident, I know. <laughs> I hope it's that he like shot himself in the foot. Literally, not figuratively, not metaphorically, literally, actually, for real, for real. Um, yeah, there's no music for the game. This isn't a mistake, but I cannot hear anything. It is an idol game, so that makes sense. As, as Ruby said before, I-D-L-E, not I-D-O-L game. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I can put on my my regular little tune that I play, courtesy of one lovely Super Talia DX, exclamation point Talia, uh, if you want to get linked to them. Um, or I could just keep it quiet. Y'all can play whatever music you like for y'all selves. Or if you're watching something in the background, not too many noises going on. But, you know, feel free to chime in. I know a lot of y'all, like me, are multitaskers. <laughs> okay, so I got $100. I don't think I have 30 wood, though. So... I don't know how I'll get that. I guess I'll just let the sheriff keep on keeping on. I'll put on 80 hours of looping Twin Peaks theme. Lucky Hyena, just make sure I don't hear it because I'll start crying. <laughs> what? Oh, like, okay, no, wait. The theme, no, Laura, Laura Palmer's theme. I will fucking cry. Ooh, someone new is here. Wilma Truitt. She runs that gas station like the Navy. 
Level three at life, level five at working, level two at exploring in nature, level three at scavenging, level two at science, level two at artifacts, level four at governing, level 10 at religion. Wait, yeah. What was his religion again? I, yeah, it was like three. I was gonna say, I think it was low. Okay, who's Romina? September 16, 2030. I gotta get a handle on Romina. Maybe come down hard on these social workers that keep shrugging her off. Her schizophrenic meltdowns are raising hell, damaging property all of a sudden, and it feels like only a matter of time until she hurts someone. I jailed her for the night, maybe the third time in a month. She was smashing beer bottles on the stop sign near the Praetis' house, yelling about Beelzebub and demons and a reckoning of the one-eyed angel. Poor Everly Praetis, her voice shaking on the phone. Romina's gonna sleep off the booze and start hollering apocalypse at sunup. As usual, she's out at dawn and running off into Pine Hills Park, God knows where. The town is riding off my riding my hide about getting off the streets permanently. Ugh. Sheriff Snow, certainly you wouldn't think of such a thing. Also, I like this, the, the tacit implication, Hyena, that I will be streaming this for 80 hours. I guess it is a, <laughs> I guess it is an idle game. Um, I mean, Wilma's the scavenger. Mr. Man, you gonna... I can't have him live his life, but I don't know why. Nature locations? Need wooden meat to make any use of it, it looks like. Okay. Well, that's going on. What is Romina Zappa's grand plan? I can't click on this, so I assume it's just passively like a thing. Um, but she's scavenging off the sidewalks, and I assume from that we'll get 30 wood and then be able to build the gas station. I'm just trying to make sure I haven't like missed anything. Because a lot happens at once. Oh yeah, here we go. We need to have people working on it. I mean, I can just have Buzz working on it for now, I guess. Oh, but wait. This is probably a specific building thing, no? See, he's a two at working. He's no five. He's no five of Wilma. But he'll start to get the job done. Okay, so they're going to build a gas station out of wood and spare change scavenged from sidewalks. <laughs> maybe just needs a little maybe just needs a little touch up. That's it. Other than that, the gas station's fine. That's how we have to think of it in our minds, but judging by the fact that this is an idle game, which has chosen to be somewhat rooted in reality, it, it's on Earth properly, starting out with, as opposed to, to some other stuff. Um, I imagine it'll get wacky pretty rapidly. And even the concept of trying to, to, to go back to reality will, will be gone relatively quickly. So I can just put her on this and then she'll stop scavenging, right? Yeah. I'll make it go way faster. The thing is... I find the the gamer part of me being like, oh, I wish there was a little bit of sound, but I know that that's only because I'm streaming. If I was playing this game for myself, it would be on mute literally all the time. <laughs> so like, I can't really say anything. Asbury Gas can go whenever. Inputs dollars, outputs meat in barrels. Oh, I guess it is a gas station. I guess that does make sense. Buzz, get the fuck at work. Yeah, I, everything else. All right, all three of these were not in yet, right? All right, so I can kind of ignore that for the time being. Well, not for the time being, for the whole demo is what I mean. This will be important at a later date. Oh, is this the chance of success? It must be, right? 70-30, not bad. See, now we have hella wood. I was just going to have her scavenge the whole thing, but maybe that's kind of silly. Ah, oh, but then we get dollars from that. I love scavenging zones and nature locations as categories, I know. I also love that the scavenging zone icon is just a snail. It's- hang on, let me... So it is just a snail, but because of the way that snails are shaped, it looks like a snail going... I guess I'll scavenge. <laughs> There's also a gloom in chat. Throw your balls if you want a gloom. I love a gloom. Gloom is so cute. The slobbering poisson Pokemon. 
So, I mean, these are idle game tings, so we have some downtime. As per usual, let me know what y'all have been up to. If you've been playing new games, I want to know about them. Um, or if any new stuff is coming out. You know, one thing I've realized recently, partially due to the writer's strike, and sag after still on strike, don't forget. Um, but as well as just like, uh, I, I put a few websites that I don't read like super frequently onto my RSS feed. So like now I have Polygon's like general features section instead of just their gaming stuff. And I also have Dazed. There's a lot of TV shows that I've never heard of in my entire life. There's so much TV happening all the time, and I'm not big on TV. I just look from afar. But I'm always happy to hear about a cool TV show, even if I never watch it a day in my life. Uh, and also, if anyone else has played any cool demos for Steam Next Fest, I'd be interested to hear. I still need to play the one for Another Crab's Treasure, which to be fair is not actually part of Steam Next Fest. I, I think it just happens to coincide with it, because it came out a few days beforehand. Um, but I want to give that one a go. The idea of solving a murder over the course of an idle game is fascinating to me. Now here's the thing, this is 100% scavenged, but I appear to still be getting resources from it. But now, I can send a Wilma out into nature. I don't see you walking children in nature. Oh, the money's staying at a one-to-one, -one, though. However, I think we're good. So let's send a Wilma out into nature. And then... It doesn't look like I can let the sheriff live life. <laughs> are, are they always living life? All the time? I don't know. I'll have her live life a little bit. Okay, they live life up to a certain point, and then it stops. And isn't that how real life is? Wow. Currently living! <laughs> it says blocked, though. It says blocked. So I assume it just stopped or something. But my presumption is that they'll reach, like, certain breakpoints or something. Currently living! <laughs> I like this recontextualization. Yeah, I assume that, you know, for, on the people screen, I assume she'll live life and then she'll unlock this next thing, like how we did with the sheriff. And I assume we need to approach this question mark and we'll get a new thing if we do that. And then as time goes on, yeah, we'll unlock stuff. Life in Pine Hills Park. The sun winks through the pines, scattering beams on the ferns below. Retired couples, active parents, and idle minds wander peacefully along the many trails. They move like monorails, never deviating, making scheduled stops to open their eyelids and peer out at a sequence of views and vistas. Creatures of the pines avoid the monorail of humans and live hard lives of competition with the other creatures. Why well, could have told you that? <laughs> The sheriff is idle. Back to the scavenging zone with ye. I should be efficient. Everybody should be doing something all the time. That's how these games work, I think. <gasps> She's gonna run out of stuff. Oh hell. Alright. Oh, I can only have one person scavenge at a time, though. Oh, and you know what? Another question is actually... Do their skills change? Probably not. I mean, I assume they might change from, like, era to era, but at the present time, I assume that they will not really be changing drastically. How about you live your life, Wilma? Let's see if we can get to this little tab. I know that she is, if this is even remotely inspired by Twin Peaks, which it is, oh god, I know that she is going to be religious. <laughs> Lord Almighty, hear my prayer. Sweet Lord Jesus on the cross, I'd like to offer today's prayer to Ramina. She came to the gas station drunk again and loafed around while arguing with them voices in her head. It smelled like something awful in her ratty coat. It took all my strength to remain polite and firm, even though she was cussing and throwing an imaginary fit in front of customers. Shameful. I gave her a free cup of coffee to get her to leave. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Um, and let me, what's up with this mayor? 
Uh, you, Alvin Van Eisen the second, Mayor of Asbury Pines. Uh, level five life, level seven work, level four nature, level three scavenging, level two science, level five artifacts, level four governing, level 15 religion. <laughs> the mayor being level four at governing and level 15 at religion is not lost on me. Just, just, just saying. I'm just making, I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know. Examine or hidden? What does that mean? Oh no, okay. Oh no, she's gonna unlock a MAGA <laughs> as her artifact? Oh, but I hope so. Cause, cause for me, I think that would be really funny. Uh, all right. How many dollars we got? Yeah, sixty-two dollars. The thing is, I think that um, Wilma works faster than the sheriff can scavenge. A bin in Asbury Prison. Well, you're a sheriff. Get in there. Get us some dollars. It would be hilarious. Like, the th I, I don't have a super strong read on the game or the game's like concept so far, but I imagine a level of facetiousness will arrive. January 29, 2034, Mayor Van Eisen II vetoes a progressive proposal. Mayor Van Eisen vetoes Asbury Prison Rehab Clinic Project. Mayor Van Eisen has vetoed the town council's budget proposal to build a small alcohol and drug rehabilitation clinic on the grounds of the abandoned Asbury Prison, a community effort that gained widespread council approval after an impassioned speech by Sheriff Buzz Snow. Okay. My thoughts and prayers go out to those in pain, but think about it, folks. A rehab facility would make this town a haven for addicts and the dealers that follow them, the mayor told the press. No, not on my watch. My priority is a hard-line community safety, which is achieved by my ANUS program. Arsenals, neutralizations, intelligence, and surveillance resources for local law enforcement. Besides, the Church of St. Francis already runs an excellent counseling program founded on faith. Sheriff Snow declined to comment on this development. Now, what did I just say? Now, what did I just say? There's no way you're not supposed to pronounce that as anus. Ain't no fucking way. Let me put this mayor to work. Get to scavenging, you old bitch. Get out on the streets and scavenge. <laughs> it looks like no one can examine this. I assume we'll, like, get Ramina? Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, we're good. Wilma's working, but I want to get to this second page, so I think I'll have her live her life for a little while. Okay, now I'm really- it's starting to really hook me, and that's good, but bad. When an idle game gets your hooks in, gets its hooks in, there's a reason I don't do drugs, you know? There's a reason I don't do drugs. <laughs> and it's because I know it would become a problem really fast. So an idle game? They got my ass. The thing is, the concept already got my ass. I saw someone post on co-host, and the thing is, they hadn't um, what's the word? They hadn't played the demo, but they were like, "Oh my god, you know, I, I can't speak to the quality of this because I haven't played it." But the idea of idle game Twin Peaks is so is so cool or so funny or like OMG, you know, it's something like that. So I looked at the Steam store page and I was like, "Yeah, this cause this concept kind of kicks ass. I'm really interested," and I'm already I'm feeling taken care of already. Oh, also, not all HEBs have these, but I just want to brag to the class. I have blackberry lemonade made fresh in store like it says on the label. I hope everyone else has a nice little drink. The only problem is the pulp is at the top somehow, so I'm afraid to open it. Wait, it says she's blocked. She stopped living her life. All right. I'm gonna send her back into nature then. The thing is, isn't Alvin's work score really low? Oh no, it's seven. Or is it, how is his seven? I guess he's, maybe he's like used to doing office work is the concept. That's my guess. Oh, but he can't work here. I guess because his job is the mayor. Eh. Makes enough sense, I think. We got a good amount of food, but she's gonna run out in a few turns here, and then we'll have to... I think we'll probably just rotate her between working and being in Pine Hills Park. 
I'm also curious what perks are. Like, obviously we won't be able to get to it in the demo, but I'm just curious what this means. The icon is just a mushroom. So it doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> November 11th, 2030, Wilma sends out a prayer to Jesus. <laughs> the wording just makes me laugh. Makes me laugh. Who doesn't like to laugh? All right, so they're about a. This is the last round, I think. A singular prayer. That that's what's really funny about it is the implication that like she doesn't pray every day, which you would presume that she does, or, or at least close to every day, if not multiple times a day. Um, but I guess it's a very specific prayer, so it gets a specific mention. <laughs> Yeah, the mayor, the mayor can scavenge, but he can't work here. Because normally I can switch them between stuff like this real easy, so. And that must be it. Look at that output. Look at number go up. All right. Like I said, Wilma runs that shit like the Navy, so let's put her back here. Because we only have like a few until we get to this, right? I think we'll be able to get there. Oh, yeah. All right. Give me the lore. Always rebuild. The casual hum of the park often dissipates quickly and gives way to peaceful, unpopulated nights. As the sun drops, cool pockets of air settle down between the hills, eventually growing into roving bands of fog that stifle light and sound. To the paranoid, the park is loud. To the calm-hearted, the park is silent. Each night, the will of the pines fights back against relentless human expansion. New ferns blossom, earthworms rebuild, and trees sprout buds. Despite all its pain, the forest chooses not to give up. Hmm. What happens when this is done? Maybe just the same stuff that happens for the rest. Hmm? She explored the whole dang place. And I think there's no reason to keep exploring it, so I'm going to put Wilma back over here. And I'm going to put the sheriff back over here. Can anyone live their life? Oh, Wilma can. Fuck working. And then I like this little percentile progress on everything. Let me get prayer number two. Let me see it. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, now Ramina's here. Well, phone log, February 2nd, that's a mistake, but 2034, 10.08 a.m., Mayor's Office. Hello, this is an automated message from the Asbury Pines Office of the Mayor. We are closed, but your call is important to Mayor Van Eisen. Please leave your name, phone number, and the reason for your call. We will contact you at our earliest convenience. Thank you. Howdy, Mayor. It's Wilma. Just wanted to say that it was nice chatting at the gas station this morning, and I think you've cooked up some really great plans to make our town safer. I think you're right. The days of Aldous Snow are long gone, bless his soul, and maybe Buzz's best effort just isn't enough. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that I've talked it over with the ladies in my book club, and you've got our full backing with your community safety plans and growing our fine police force. So we'll nag our husbands till they agree. Ha! <laughs> well, we're sending y'all a couple blackberry cobblers. Thanks as always. God bless. Aye. I let Ramina live her life, but I want to see what's in her jacket. Ooh! Blackberry cobbler. Oh wait, I didn't realize there are item descriptions. Alright, the mug. This little beauty comes to life every morning at 7.30am and never fails to bring a little comfort. Sheriff Snow's coffee mug. Uh, Ramina's trench coat is tatted and shredded, but the word gatekeeper is delicately stitched into the inside breast pocket. If you haven't tried Wilma's cobbler, then you probably haven't been in Asbury Pines very long. Oh, and there's a lot of artifacts. Hmm. Alright, I had Wilma live in her life. Back to work. She's gaslighting, gatekeeping, and bro <laughs> bossing. Girl bossing. She just might be. She might be thinking that she's holding back the apocalypse. A girl boss. <laughs> hey, Pantera. Ooh, there's a Roselia in chat. Roselia is a rose with one red flower and one blue flower on each hand. So I'm going to throw a great ball because then that would match. And I like that a lot.
Yeah, six of 45. I assume they'll go in order for a while. And then I guess we flash back to Y2K. And then I don't know what... I really cannot fathom what Worm 83 means. War of Red Mars 83. Alright, I got all that stuff out of the coat. Now let's have her live her life, maybe find out a little more. Oh wait, let's have Wilma do. Oh, wait. Oh right, because she's bringing them the thing. Ramina's knife. Hold up, let's get Alvin on it, because that's lore. He did. He is the one who got the cobbler, at least in this one. Home sweet tent or tent sweet home. Mm, look at this medicine for night. Chips for dinner and whiskey to shut up the loudness. The dark, the bits, the dark, the bits. The little girl, the rip. Half only, ugh. Bag half full of chips. Look at on the bright side, huh? <laughs> A bag half full kind of night. The green gem necklace and the one-eyed angel. I'll get her to the grave, the one-eyed angel. No one looks in my boot for secrets. <laughs> Still got my knife. It's all I gotta control things. Let me think in there for what. Let me think for once up there. Yes, yes, the pendant necklace with the green crystal angel inside. Mine, my key from Pathfinder. She wears it every day. Apex Legends. Oh, and a second one. Conversation between Ramina and Buzz. No, Aldis, have a heart. It's Buzz, Ramina. Aldis is with the angels. Hold still. Do you understand why I've got to cuff you and take you in again? Please, I hate the station. I'm just trying to get on my way. Ramina, you were scaring folks this time. What on earth were you thinking? Throwing pennies at folks walking to the grocery store? That's harm, you understand? Causing harm to others. They don't care for my feelings. I see those people seeing me with hate. I just need some medicine, and then everyone acts like I'm the only one that needs some medicine. We all need fucking medicine. That's true. Let's look at that knife. War of Red Meat, 1483. Hmm. We're going somewhere in time. I, get, I really am assuming it's in the past. Not necessarily 1983, but like the past. But I guess it could be the future also. Now Everly Pratis is here. Can't live life at the moment. I don't think we have any new locations. How are we doing on dollars? $190, all right. Oh, I'd say get to working, but you can't. What's your deal? Digital content manager, <gasps> my, my people. Level four life, level 10 working, level 11 nature, level eight scavenging, level 10 science, level six artifacts, level two governing, level seven religion. Okay. I mean, I guess get to scavenging. <laughs> I don't have nothing else for you to do right now, I'm afraid. Yeah, because I don't know why I would continue to explore the park if it takes resources but doesn't give any. It was just to read those notes, I think. Oh no, it gives XP, that's why. We use up a lot. A lot of resources and he uses them up real quick like hmm but I guess I could send someone we own rapid meltwater 2383 maybe it's just numbers like it's a local um what's the word you know it's like a, a union <laughs> or something a good knife for opening cans and getting anything that's alive. Alright, so I guess I do have to send someone to walk children in nature. Skill level 38? Holy shit. Wait. Did I not read Ramina's skills? I didn't. Level 6 life, level 2 working, level 38 nature, level 15 scavenging, level 12 science, level 9 artifacts, level 2 governing, level 2 religion. I thought we were working on like a scale of 1 to 20. I mean, initially I thought it was 1 to 10, and then I went, no, 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 it must be 1 to 20. But it's clearly different than that. <laughs> All right, so I see. Is 
We have to explore nature to get experience. We need experience to let them live their lives and progress on the timeline. Okay. I know what the deal with Everly Pratis is. So I think I'll have her live life a little bit. Let's get to know Everly. Not to be confused with Beverly. Everly Pratis has a perfect day with her husband, Danny, texting mom. Ugh, mom, I just had a perfect day. Kids splashing in the pool, Danny grilling our fave bratwurst, the naps all around. Dinner was pizza and brownies, and then we played Uno and caught lightning bugs in the yard. This is the stuff I should be living for, and I feel just detached. Like my skin pores close up and keep happiness from getting into my body. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you tell your husband how you feel? No. I'm worried Danny's getting sick of this shit. My shit. He's given up, like, everything to take care of me. I just want to feel not depressed for once in my goddamn life. What has your psychiatrist said? The usual crap. I'm mad or I have to focus on good things, take my meds. It's not like I haven't been trying here. You do matter. How are the bad thoughts? Do you need me to drive down? No. Like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I just love an immediate switch. No. I don't know, maybe. Alright, let's let the mayor live life a little bit begrudgingly but that's because Ramina's working on getting us all that XP <laughs> and she is working well thanks Ramina so I think everything else I've pretty much explored all right let's see what this is Ooh, local grocery market has been unlocked also a new artifact danny's toyota corolla has been unlocked now that's a reliable car oh fancy that the imbecile danny pratis is here how could a guy be so smug while buying groceries oh lord <laughs> i i was speed reading i read ahead look at him sauntering to his toyota an asian made car of course <laughs> what a patriot i can only imagine how satisfying it will feel to walk right up and punch him in his know-it-all schoolboy glasses i bet he's a whiner <laughs> Fucking idiot, gallivanting around like he's the mayor of town. But he dropped out of the race. Obviously, he couldn't take the heat. He doesn't deserve Everly. If I ever get the chance to make his life hell. We are. I knew he'd be a, a bitter old man, the mayor, but yeesh. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I was getting... When he started saying Asian made car, I was like, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Just getting, just getting afraid in the chat. Um, local grocery market. Building costs $200, 200 wood. I have that. Buzz, get in there. Well, actually, let me get Buzz and Wilma, because then they'll build it like way faster. A new Ramina story. Ramina makes a desperate plan. Okay. The dark, the bits, the little girl. No listening from no one. Ears closed shut, shut up, shut up. So tight my words don't go in. I don't want to threaten the one-eyed angel. She's so afraid that she fights and runs. I'm scared too, but I also understand it. She doesn't yet. Oh yes, yes, my third eye was opened wide by Pathfinder, and I know this is more than him and me and pain and fear. The one-eyed angel must reach the gate in the wood and be gone. Gone. Make her gone. The rip, the green gem necklace, and the one-eyed angel. Hmm. And a new artifact, Danny's Toyota Corolla. Alvin can search it. No, ever. Well, we're gonna let Everly live until. <laughs> it makes it sound like I'm gonna kill her. We're gonna let Everly live life until we get to this next. Um, what is it? This next thing. This next marker on her timeline. Um, and then I will send her to look in Danny's Toyota Corolla. I wonder if different things happen depending on who does something. I can't really imagine that would be the case, but it is possible of like. Alvin, the mayor who clearly hates Danny and doesn't like his car because it's from Japan, um, versus Everly, his wife, searching the car. I don't imagine something different would happen, but it's possible. I'm not sure if this has a, a branching narrative structure. I didn't think it did. But now that has me asking questions in my mind. Well, I guess we don't need more wood, really, do we? fresh produce market is here oh it's pretty much the, it inputs one dollar but it outputs even more meat and oil all right Wilma get in there 
And then I am going to send Buzz back here. All right, let's see that Everly Praetis story. This is September 3rd, 2031. So this is over the course of a solid year or so. Is it weird that I'm proud of not crying in front of my son? Gavin said some of the other first graders called him Captain Hook because, because he has a one-eyed pirate mom. He was all huffy and puffy when I picked him up and asked how I could let someone poke out my eye. Why didn't you fight back? Real me wanted to shout that I'm fighting back every day. But mom me told him, again, that some things are sad accidents and we can learn to accept them or be upset all the time. The scar still finds ways to haunt me. Ooh. When well, she's still living life, we got even another thing. Everly Praetis, what's going on with you? Everly Praetis files a police report December 11, 2031. Asbury Pines Police Department. March 11th, 2034. Wait, that's in the future. That might be a mistake. Yeah? Right? It's ha yeah, it has to be a mistake. I don't know. Case 9217. Voluntary witness form statement. I was downtown for my weekly counseling appointment at 2.30 p.m. As I left my psychiatrist's office about an hour later, I saw Romina, not sure of last name, she's old and homeless, near the corner of Glendale and Main Street. She saw me, ran over, got in my face, and yelled that she knew the gate for my key. She grabbed my coat and kept asserting nonsense about me going to the other side of the gate in the trees. Her eyes were wild, which scared me to death. I kicked her hard in the shin, which made her crumple on the sidewalk and gave me time to escape into my car. I drove immediately to this police station to give this statement. Please do something about Romina. What if my kids were around? I feel watched all the time. She's harassing me and I fear for my family. I'm assuming this is supposed to say 2024. Because they've mentioned this happening in the past. Also, ads are starting in about a minute here. Oh gosh, have I been streaming for an hour already? I know I've only, I wasn't here right away, so I've probably only been playing this for like 45 minutes, but... I'm in. They've got me. Oh wait, no, hang on. Live life a little more to get this next thing. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the game, stop the game. This, th 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 did she just die? Did she just get murdered? Hey, 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 whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. A sheriff's knows police reported the Everly Praetis. I was gonna say, why is it red? And then at the top it said, new location discovered, Everly Praetis murder scene. Asbury Pines Police Department, May 6, 2034, Office of the Sheriff. Reporting Officer, Sheriff Buzz Snow. Date and time of incident, May 7, 2034, 5.42 a.m. Reporting offense, homicide. Officer's description of events. I called in a civilian assistance request 12 hours after Everly Praetis was reported missing. Bill Steely's bloodhound found her remains. Location of crime scene is Pine Hills Park, coordinates 36.6831 uh, degrees north, 83.8218 degrees west. Head is dismembered, body is next to it. Appears victim was executed via beheading on a stump by an old grave and died immediately. Standard 28-inch splitting axe, blood on the blade. Initial investigation reveals no sign of struggle from victim. No dirt, skin, or hair under fingernails. Lipstick, earrings, and makeup is intact on the severed head, save for dirt and leaves. Clothing appears unmolested. Nothing missing from victim's wallet. Phone and pendant necklace with victim's face found in coat pocket. Pen and necklace with victim's face. Two pairs of shoe tracks lead to execution site, both approximately same size and tread identical to the victim's shoes. Tracks disappear at location of homicide. Bloodhound did not pick up further sense to follow from there. Assisting officer, oh, I thought that said a warlord. While Rod vomited near the crime scene, sent him off to get a grip and bring coffee for incoming investigators. Actions taken by the officer. Deputy Gil Martin cordoned the crime scene, called investigation units from nearby Bronson and Riverneck counties, notified Mayor Van Eisen of events and that crime report would come ASAP. Investigators arrived at 7.05 a.m. to take photos. Blood, hair, fingerprint, and saliva samples gathered. Confiscated acts for fingerprint and possible DNA analysis. Body eventually removed for drug testing and autopsy by coroner. Drove to the Praetis house at 8.23 a.m. and reported the incidents to incident to Everly's husband, Danny. First time I saw a man wail like that. The two kids. Helped phone nearby family members to come over for support. Officer summary of events. Worst day of my fucking life. She fucking died? Well, she, I, well I guess someone else is gonna have to get in her fucking car. No, I can still send Everly to do it though. Okay, wait, so Everly is still um, an entity in the idol game but she is super not alive <laughs> can't 
can't stress this enough, not alive at that point in time. How bizarre. Well, hang on. Ramina, I want to put you on this. Oh, but it takes so much oil. Okay, wait. Right, I was going to say, I don't think I can have Ramina work. Um, hmm. I think once Everly finishes that, we're going to put her at the produce market. I need Buzz to live his life so I can figure out what the heck is going on over there. And then the mayor is just scavenging for money. <laughs> Scrounge around for, for dirty change on Main Street. Yeah, we need so much oil to get through the... What is it called? The crime scene. The crime scene. Alright, so she filed a police report in 2031, but the date says 2034, so I think... I think that there's just a, a difference between the timeline of like how the game is coded, or like the numbers in the video game versus the numbers in the images. I don't know which one is wrong. Um, but I assume that these are supposed to match somewhat because I don't know how I could get something from March of 2034 in December three years earlier. Well, two and a half, but you know what I mean. So I think there's some kind of... That doesn't feel like a story thing. That feels like an accident, which is, you know, that happens. All right, sheriff story. Sheriff Snow reflects on a godforsaken murder. Godforsaken. Just no other word for it. Everly Pratt is decapitated on a stump in Pine Hills Park, in my town. All the DNA, hair, footprints, whatever, all of it is Everly's. Even the fingerprints on the axe handle. Am I to believe she chopped off her own goddamn head? Was she axe juggling in the middle of the woods and, whoopsie, neatly beheaded herself by an abandoned grave? Autopsy reports had jackal. Chem tests reveal no drugs other than meds. No escape paths identified, and the bloodhound found a trash bottle of cheap whiskey a mile from the scene. It's all cold. I can still remember the first horrific report I made about Everly Pratis, because I never found that perp either. either. Evil happened. Evil came to my town. It's staring me dead in the eyes and asking, what's the buffoon son of Aldous T. Snow gonna do? Well, I'm the goddamn sheriff of Asbury and someone's disturbed our peace. No way in hell I'm allowing evil like this. I'm chewing fire. <laughs> I've never heard the, <laughs> the phrase, I'm chewing fire before, but I like that. Everly, if you don't get through your living husband's Toyota Corolla in a reasonable amount of time. Oh shit, and I'm out of I'm out of the XP right now. Well, hang on. I'll get the mayor scavenge in here for now until I can get him to another stuff again. And Buzz will work here. The Toyota Corolla. She doesn't turn any heads, but she's reliable and gets from A to B. Eye patch. A detail of intrigue for anyone who saw Everly. The murder weapon. Not exactly a delicate choice for murder, but undoubtedly effective. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, I think that's a fair thing to say. I think... I think you could kill someone with an axe. I think you could do it. Oh no, now this one says 2034. So maybe it's just this one that is not quite right. Wait, when does the murder happen? I thought it said March 2034. No, May. Okay. Yeah, okay, I think this date is just kind of whatever. I guess it doesn't really make a difference. It's just that Everly Pratis uh, files a police report that... Um, Romina was bugging her sometime before her murder. But whether it's two and a half years before or a couple months before, it's maybe not that important, but it would be of note, I have to say. I would like to know. How's our oil and meat looking? Oh my god, we're in the 500s. All right. Romina, get out there. <laughs> I 
have a measly 3 XP lying around. <laughs> and the thing is too, if I get really high on this, <laughs> if I get really high on this, if I get um, a lot of these resources, which I do have a lot right now, I guess I could just send two people to do like one at a time. That way I get XP a lot faster. Nature four, nature two, nature four, Nature 11, but the thing is nobody else can do her eye patch. So I guess, okay, I'll send Buzz for now, but I'd like it to be Everly. Hmm. I think, okay, again, this is a demo and I don't want to spend all of stream on this, although I could. I think once we finish um, investigating the murder scene, then I'll probably call it and move on to the next one. I think that'll be smart. <laughs> or whenever the mayor, let's say the murder scene and when I can get the mayor to this next point that I'm very curious about. Cause this is like right after the murder. So I'm assuming he's gonna like be a dick. <laughs> Or something. But like, you know, we we need a, a gajillion more cops because this shouldn't happen in my town. That kind of thing. And the thing is, the amount of meat and oil is, the number is staying relatively steady. I mean, oil is actually starting to go down. But that just means Wilma's working, working. Jeesh. All right, setting the mayor to live life. I'm sending Buzz back over here. Cause now that's a good enough, good good amount of XP. I don't know if I don't think it'll get them all the way over there. Oh no, maybe it will. We got two twenty four XP remaining. He needs to get from about he needs to get from ninety six ninety nine to two thirty two. So yeah, he can get there. I'm curious as to when animals and plants will start appearing as characters. Because I just recognized, I mean, this is the characters tab, so community events go in here. They're not exactly characters, neither are stories. But having entire animals and plants sections is curious to me, especially as the animals are represented by a woolly mammoth. <laughs> is there a reason behind that? Hmm. Who's entirely to say? Man, this is taking forever. Oh, 19 minutes. Yeah, it is going to take forever. So we're... Ignoring that. Three plants versus 70 people. <laughs> Who would win? Hydrogen bomb or coughing baby? <laughs> Alright, what's this one? New Everly Praetis murder scene story. Where is this? A dichotomy of times. Upon sight of this horror, the location of Everly Praetis' untimely murder, a dichotomy of two times invades the mind. There is the now. Since the murder, time has elapsed. The blood no longer flows. It has dried. It is earthly and dark. The creature of the pines had begun to reclaim the site and the forces of nature, too. Erosion, sunlight, and wind are already beginning to hide away this scar. But there is also the then. The axe remains stuck in the precise position where it ended a life. From it, one can faintly imagine the positions of the persons involved. Their footprints show some confusing dance through the fog and into finality. One can see the dark biblical chaos of this moment as if it were still present. Yes, there are two times here then and now. Oh, yes, there are two times here, then and now. Each pervasive, each searing, and each relentless in its control of the memory. One cannot forget these two times. One cannot tear them apart. Okay. Oh no, the anus field manual. Because I got another community event, I think, from Mr. Meyer. Let Wilma live her life a bit. Oh, but she won't be able to much, because that XP... Oh, she'll be able to make it to her next thing now. Um, community events. May 20th, 2034. Oh, this is like a couple 
two and a half weeks after the murder, Mayor Van Eisen launches draconian anus program. In light of the horrific murder of Everly Paredes, the town can- council has granted full support to Mayor Van Eisen's anus program and its funding proposal. Protected the fine people of Asbury Pines is my top priority, said Mayor Van Eisen at his press conference. Unfortunately, gone are the days of a small sheriff's department keeping the peace. We are under attack by sophisticated criminals and need to respond with cutting edge security measures. My arsenal's nanotech that's not what it was before. Intelligence and surveillance program, known as ANUS, will require the imposition of a local security tax that will raise funds to bolster our law enforcement numbers, gear, and technologies. There is no price too large for the safety of our beloved streets and neighbors. Obviously, my prayers and condolences to the Praetis family, and God bless our Asbury Pines. Okay. Okay, sir. Um... Oh, right. I forgot. I said I was going <laughs> to I said I was going to go whenever this is totally explored. And we're only like halfway to the next note. What shall I do in the meantime? Well, we got Wilma living life. Oh, right. I need to put the mayor back on. Get you in there and then let's get Buzz over here. How fast does this go? 3.6 and this is 3.8. Yeah, there ain't no reason to go to the gas station no more, is there? I mean, I guess unless I didn't have enough money to do the other, but even then. And then this, the nature location, the murder scene ticks every 7.3 seconds. So he's keeping a good pace. All right. Wilma Truitt's second story. Ooh, and we're going to get to a third. Phone log May 8th, 2034. So that's two days after the murder at night. Hello, this is an automated message from the Asbury Pines office of the mayor. We're closed, but your call is important to Mayor Van Eisen. Please leave your name, phone number, and the reason for your call. We'll kind of hear it at earliest convenience. Thank you. May God protect our anus agents. Woman you howled. Uh, hi. I'd like to give an anonymous tip to help catch the murderer of Everly Pratis. So on the day it happened, I saw two people wearing hoods and a big coat going to the Pine Hills Park entrance across the way from my, uh, the Asbury gas station. Romina wears that big dirty coat and has these plastic bags for her head when it rains. It had to be her. She's crazy and dangerous. I know I should be calling the sheriff with this, but I think you get things done with less fuss. We'd all sleep easier knowing Romina was off our streets for good. Take care now. And then what's this? <gasps> November 2nd, 2041, Wilma Trua passes from heart failure. That's seven years after the murder, which makes it seem like they, <laughs> there's no relation. <laughs> it certainly seems like there would be no relation. Well, Wilma, have fun at the produce market because I ain't got nothing else for you to do now that you're dead. Just being honest, now that you're dead, I, I can't have you do anything else. So I guess red means murder, a red X means murder, and then a black X means died of not murder. I guess it could be natural causes, but eh. I won't say it's so early. Actually, I really probably don't need both of them on this. I was going to say, if Buzz can do this, if Buzz can start doing this, I think that would be great. We got someone scavenging for money. Hang on, I'm gonna move Wilma to the first slot, just so it looks nicer. We got Wilma at the produce market. We got Romina at the murder scene. We got Buzz on the anus. Everly on her own damn eye patch. <gasps> new, new scene unlocked. Oh wait, it's over here. Questions and no answers. Can ever can every complexity be discovered? I almost said Everly complexity. Several hundred yards away, at the head of the park, piled teddy bears, flowers, and candles make it hard to decipher the park's entrance sign. There, humanity reigns, riddled with grief, but still humanity. Decency has kept secret this spot, the site of the murder. And so here, there is no humanity. There are no sobbing friends, no huddled player, prayers, no collections taken up for family. Here, there is only a shadow, cast by ultimate rage, the remnants of complexity, complexities that may never be known. Strange. And I would finish this, and I said I would, but I think it's a better use of our time to have Romina live life up to this next thing, because that nature location takes forever. We'll send her back later. But for now... We're getting, we're getting that done, hopefully. I know this technically makes me a liar, 
but I think it will take longer to finish investigating the murder scene than it will to get Romina to this bit, I think. That's what I believe, that's my story, and I am sticking to it. There ain't no way Romina did it. Er, there's no way it's that simple. There's gotta be something else going on in this jerk waterberg. And the thing is too, with, uh, with the science, government, religion, and perks all not part of the demo, I wonder how much of the other things are at their maximum, right? This is five of 70 people. I don't know if I can find all 70 in the demo, nor do I know if there's 70 total, you know what I'm saying? So I'm very curious. Welcome to Worm 83. Oh, we're here. Okay, something Okay, something happened. Romina Zappa, story. <gasps> anus officers engage in deadly force. The anus fire team engaged in its first deployment early this morning following a witness report to the mayor's office of a dangerous person in Pine Hills Park. Following an altercation with officers, Romina Zappa was shot five times. She was pronounced dead when she arrived at Walden Emergency Hospital. Mayor Van Eisen described the event as a tragedy but unavoidable. Body camera footage shows that officers acted in self-defense as Regina was incoherent and charged them with a sizable knife, Mayor Van Eisen said. She was identified as a prime suspect in the Praetis murder, he added, and unfortunately her violent behavior suggests she may have done it. Sheriff Buzz Snow provided a rare voluntary statement on the incident. I've arrested Romina plenty of times to know that she suffered from severe schizophrenia, Sheriff Snow said. She was one of us, a piney, and she needed help, not being scared to her wits or to her wits end by tactical bugaboos armed to the teeth. There weren't a lick of fingerprints, DNA, or any evidence linking Regina to the Praetis murder. Let that go on record. And the thing is, I thought that um, the mayor saying Regina was a joke, but then it says it twice. It may also be a mistake. Romina Zappa shot in the head May 27, 2034. Jesus, they were quick. All right, so I'm in a Worm 83 now. Old Danny Pratis and Gavin Pratis. Danny, Life 14, Working 18, Nature 24, Scavenging 18, Science 4, Artifact 17, Governing 60, Religion 6. And there's Gavin. Life 15, Working 27, Nature 40, Scavenging 38, Science 16, Artifacts 21, Governing 30, Religion 17. Sheesh. Um, okay. I mean, I said I would end here. And I'm afraid that I'm a woman of my word. Inaccessible due to societal collapse is what they say. Worm 83, hang on. An AI virus shatters society? What do you mean? What do you mean an AI? What do you mean? What do you mean an AI virus shattered society? <laughs> Ooh, I love the storytelling here where they just say stuff. Also, I lost a bunch of my stuff because of the apocalypse, because of society being shattered. So Worm 83 is not in the past. It is in the future. It's after 2047 at the least. And an AI virus shatters society. We lost a bunch of stuff. I, w I guess I'll never be able to fully explore the Everly Praetis murder scene. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, but he's still accessing this one. This got a wish list out of me. Yes. Also, hi, Lovic. Wait, were you here before? Oh, no, you came in when you said three plants versus 30 people, or versus 70 people. And I just accepted that and forgot to say hello, but hello. The thing is, they're still using it here, but this might be a case of um, you're not supposed to be able to access this at this point, but because it's the demo and this is the point where the demo stops, it just kind of keeps going by itself. That's that's my best guess right now, but regardless. Um, yeah, Asbury Pines, folks. Oh, and then see, I have other, I could go to other games too. I guess maybe I, I don't know about doing things differently, but theoretically something else could have happened, <laughs> I guess. I'm not really sure. <laughs>